Yeah, how's it guys? So we're fishing in Simon Sound today. Uh, we're going to be trying for some black babies. Um, here we're at Shark. We're gonna, the weather's looking decent. We've had a couple days of South East now. Um, today's the first day that it's dropping off, so we're going to try and throw some big in the tail bait. Um, and hopefully hook up to a baby. Uh, there haven't been many bronzies around at the moment, so if we do get one, we're super chuffed. Um, honestly, prefer one over a baby. It hurts a bit more. I mean, a bit less, but, but we'll see. Um, the hook I'm using today is a 12 way demon circle um, with a, I think it's like a 90 pound uh, dangle. And I've got one 60 pound lynx wire um, and I'm going to be throwing this with 50 pound um, boss highlight braid and my grind elite, um, my grind elite 5 to 7 ounce and my slammer head 5. So I'm throwing with a 5 ounce sink. It's, it's not the most ideal rod for the, for the bait but let's see what, what it does. So, when you're making your bait, you want to make sure it's the right size for your dangle. So I'm going to cut it just behind this foam, um, so that I can trim it nicely and it fits on the dangle nice. And I still have space for, for the, the dangle to come all the way through. Okay, so you've got your head, which is your base of your bait. It'll sit like that on the dangle. I'm just going to trim it down, make it a bit more aerodynamic. Take the bottom part of your the top and then just a bit of the sides so it passed a bit better and there's a bit more open flesh for the small. Okay, so that's your base. I'm just gonna take a fillet off the back here. If I can. Always be careful when you're cutting with sharp knives. This one doesn't seem to be too great right now. Take a fillet off the back. It doesn't have to be too neat because we're going to be putting this one skin up like that. There's still some meat left on there which we can take off later. And then this side I'll take off when it's defrosted a bit so that I can get it on the bone. And then I'll just um, take the skin off and put the skin up. So you're going to take the size that you want this to be. You're going to make it a bit neater. Okay. And what you're going to do Gonna split the head down the middle if you can. Okay, open it up a bit so you can get your dangle in there if it opens. <laughs> then you're gonna put your hook through under the lips and try to come out so it sits like that. So go in the lips. Don't go too deep, come out the top, just to hold it onto your, onto your hook a bit better. Show us a bit there. Just like that, okay. Put your dangle inside the head, like that, so it comes out the bottom there and you can clip it. Okay, now I'm just going to make some cuts on the nose here, and on the bottom of the gill so the cotton sits nicely. Cotton this a bit. Keep it closed. Now on this side, just to keep the small inner bit, we're just going to put the skin side down. Cotton it up nicely. It's nice and streamlined. We're casting into the wind today, and the wind's quite strong. Um, it's probably about 25 k's, 30 k's today, which is what you want for Simon. So hopefully, we can get a, a fish out in it. And on the other side, we'll take the tail. I'm just gonna try and get it as close to the bone as possible. And then, what I like to do instead of cutting up now, is cut down at an angle like that. It's a nice and streamlined when you put it on your bed. Okay. So now, let's get under the skin. Pull the skin up and off. So now there's a bunch of oil that sits here under the skin in the bloodline. 
Um, you want that to come out in the water. So now instead of putting it like that, putting the side like that. So it's technically both skin up. Um, it's just that the side doesn't have the skin on. Okay, now you can use your hands to shape it a bit nicer. But this one does, it's quite hard. Um, another most important thing, in my opinion, when you're finishing your bait and you put um, your cotton around the edges, is to cotton it like this around your hook so that it holds the, uh, the fillet in. So if a fish picks it up and swims away and the sinker hook is, is holding, it doesn't pull the cutlets off and the fish um, doesn't swim away with your cutlets and the part of it. I've had it happen to me so many times where I've forgotten to do this and it just pulls your fillets off. Okay, do that a fair amount. Um, I'm not shy with cotton. <laughs> so yeah, there's your bait. It's not a massive bait. Um, Obviously for a black paley you would like to go a bit bigger than this one because I'm throwing it on such a light rod for them um, and in this wind I want to get decent distance but it's still got a lot of smell in it and I don't see why paley would say no to that. Um, we have a small piece of the yellow tail left, I'll show you what we do with this later but that's the first bait that we'll be putting out some shock guys and then obviously sinker just clips on the bottom like that and that's how the thread.
just landed in that beautiful bronze um, Definitely my PBR, I reckon it's probably about a 130-40 kilo fish uh, The tackle I was using was my Slammer head part filled with flip part Stop. Oh. 